Lloyd Dennis, Silverback Society, Incorporated, New Orleans, Louisiana. Uh, my name is Lloyd Dennis, and I'm the uh, co-founder and uh, now executive director of the Silverback Society. So the Silverback Society actually came out of uh, a joint venture uh, with my husband and Mr. Lloyd. And they realized that there was a systemic problem within the African American community that needed to be addressed and needed to be addressed by black men. And from that, they decided that, um, but they had to take charge and be a reflection in a community that they wanted to see. And with that, they started the Silverback Society. We started in one school at the invitation of, of a principal. And now we serve, we'll be serving over 600 kids in 20 schools in, in public schools in New Orleans. We discovered that the little boys were just waiting for some men to show up and they responded to us showing up and being consistent and letting them know that we care and basically letting the light in our life shine for them. One of the main reasons that we wanted the Silverbacks at Murray Henderson was because we were post-Katrina and many of our young men were coming back into a situation where there were no male figures in the home. We thought that bringing the Silverbacks in and allowing our kids to see examples of what African-American men could aspire to be would help us in curtailing some of the other issues that we were trying to address. And the Silverbacks made a significant impact on the violence and the territorial wars that we were having in our school. When I saw Lloyd, he fired something up in me. I've always been um, afraid to give of myself, but he challenged me to start thinking that way, uh, to give of myself, service before self. I was never comfortable with the word love, you know. In meeting him, I became comfortable with that word and, and, and what it truly meant and that is to, to give of yourself unconditionally for the benefit of, of someone else. Silverback teaches that, that you don't have to be boys, don't have to be a product of the current situation or circumstances that surround them, but it teaches them how to be a man and they can rise above it. And the great thing about this is that with the mentors, as they come from the same type of background, and so what it offers the, these young men is that I made it out as well, and I didn't take the, my circumstances and say that was the end, but I rose above it, and that's hope. We've actually seen kids go from being the biggest problem at a school to one of the best assets. Kids that people might have given up on end up doing extremely well in testing and become really good citizens around the school because we just showed them that you are somebody and you are important. 